today I want to talk to y'all about commons. So in Canvas, there is a tool called commons over here. It looks like a C with an arrow coming out of it. And it is amazing. This is how you and your coworkers, um, if y'all say teach on a team together, like my math team has four of us that work together to plan out things for our math. So why should all four of us work and create a module with assignments for every single standard or every single unit whenever we could divide all that work up and we could each do a couple and share with everybody else. So um, team planning, Commons is amazing. So let me show you around it. You click on it over here. It's um, in the icons underneath your dashboard. And it's kind of like the Canvas version of a Pinterest. It opens up all kinds of different stuff people in Commons, I mean in Canvas, have created that they're willing to share with you. Sorry, my internet's being a little slow today. So it has all of this different stuff people from all over the country, all over the world have made. But I can sort it by specific things. So I can type in somebody I know that I work with's name and I can pull up just their stuff. So let me show you. If I search for my friend Jessie, it shows me the stuff that she has made here that she's willing to share with me. And so if I click on this, this is her entire course, I could get her whole course. Course. So if, um, let's say, somebody goes on maternity leave and you're going to be teaching their class for six weeks, you can get their entire course and see what they were going to be doing or whatever other functions you can think of for that. Um, this is a module, as is this. So within those, if you click on them, it's going to show you all of the stuff that she has in this module, if it will ever load with my slow internet today. Hmm. Let me go back and pick the other one. goodness oh there it is finally okay so here are all of her day's assignments that she's put into this module and if I just click on import download it's gonna stick her whole module inside of my course but it's gonna put it wherever it wants to so I usually don't just click on import download because I want to organize it and put it where I want it so instead I click on if you I've already favorited this, but if I hadn't, it would say add to favorite. So if I click on that, and then I go back into my course, let's say that I want to put it in, <clears throat> oh, that's not my course, that's an old one. Let's say that I want to put it in my math course for this year. I can go into my course, and I can go to my modules tab, and let's say I want to make it part of my unit one module. So over here, these little three dots, I can click on that and I can click on Commons Favorites and it's going to show me all the stuff that within Commons I have starred and made a favorite. And now if I click on this, it's going to drop it right here in my unit one. Whereas if I had just imported it straight from Commons, it would make it its own module within my page and I couldn't put those assignments where I wanted them to. So if I clicked, it's going to put all five here in Unit 1, but let's say I only wanted one of them, I could just delete one of them and keep the other ones that I wanted or however. But using favorites and being able to pick where they go allows you to organize it better. So if you just want it to drop anywhere in your course, then go ahead and click the import button in Commons. Um, there's also just different 
like you can search fourth grade math in commons and see what other people have shared but a lot of uh, canvas stuff you know it's going to be really specific to someone's school so whenever you share things to commons you can pick that you want only people in your school district to see it or you can pick that you want anybody in the world to see it so I generally search by people that I work with name that I know they want to share something with me but I could also um, search my school name I don't know if they have it in here as our school district or high school but you can see that um, people that work at my school now I can see some of their stuff alright so let me show you how to put something onto commons for a coworker or if you're trying to tell them how to do it. So in your class you find whatever you're trying to share with these people let's say I want to share my unit 1 module with my math group because I took unit 1 and somebody else was doing 2 and somebody else was doing 3 so I gotta share mine with them. I'm gonna click on those dots again and go down to share to commons and click it And you can see that I can make it to where I'm the only one that can find it in Commons, or all of my school can, or public means anybody on Canvas can. This part right here, content type is new. I haven't used it yet. I just leave it unchecked. On license, you want to pick um, copyrighted. If it's public, it's usually going to make you provide some more information. I just click copyrighted. You can also click help me choose and it'll give you more information about all of the content license types and how you know which one you have and then you can give it a title if I don't want to call it unit 1 if I want to be more specific and say unit 1 place value or unit 1 addition subtraction it will make you put a description so to share this I might have to put fourth grade math unit on place value to 1 million and um, I ha don't use tags on here you have to pick a course image though so if I don't have one on my computer that I already want I can use a pre-made one down here and you can search the pre-made ones too like I can type in math and I can pick one that has something to do with math you can filter by grade level so if it's not applicable to anybody except fourth grade then narrow it down there so other people don't accidentally find it and think they need to use it and when you're finished with all that you click share and then it's on commons